Yo, what is up guys? It's me exactly back bringing some more daily NBA news. Thank you for joining me back here once again. You guys are the real MVP. Seriously, can't thank you enough because of you guys. I get to wake up and live my dream every day of just talking about basketball. Like that's crazy. Anyways, if you're new here, if this is your first time, then thank you so much for joining us. You guys are also greatly appreciated. But make sure that you smack that sub button and hit the bell as well so you can stay up to date with everything that goes on in the NBA on a daily basis. But now, let's just get into everything that is going on in the NBA, but first, a quick word about this video sponsor, y'all wear NBA clothing. Some of the best NBA clothing out there in my opinion. Right now, they have a collection with some of the most popular players on hoodies, t-shirts, and hats, and the collection is still growing as well. After this video, I'm definitely gonna have to hit them up and tell them to make, you know, like an Andre Drummond shirt, because for sure, I would rock that every single day if they made it happen. Anyways, you guys can go check out the collection by using the links down in the description box below for our first story now this is something that i had been waiting to report on for a while now just because i wanted to make sure that this was real and that i want to get my hopes up but along with the hopes of a lot of other people up i have been seeing him post himself practicing on instagram for like the past couple of weeks and now it is finally time to report on what i have been seeing as andre drummond is about to destroy the nba next year as yesterday he tweeted out it's gonna be scary with this video attached take a look now that was just an extremely small sample size of what andre drummond has been working on he's been doing a lot of stuff overall working on his handles to take guys off the dribble of course free throws still and just offense overall so i'm fairly convinced that this is something that we'll be seeing from Drummond during the season next year. And remember that he already said back towards the end of the regular season that he expects himself to be able to consistently take mid-range jumpers in actual games next year. But it really seems like he's trying to be able to do more than just hit the occasional midi. This guy is trying to become a 7 foot tall 280 pound Steph Curry. Next up in the news, it seems that DeMarcus Cousins just can't stay out of the news someone please tell this man that we can see all of his activity on instagram because i legit think that he doesn't realize that still he was just busted for unfollowing the new orleans pelicans on instagram and now to make things even more interesting demarcus cousins just liked an instagram user's comment saying whoever paying the most pretty much pels need to offer him the max in reference to who's going to get demarcus cousins this summer so demarcus cousins has officially just put himself up for bid to the highest bidder and i can't blame him he was easily a max little player before the injury then all of a sudden he has a freak injury goes down with an achilles tear and now not too many teams are going to be willing to offer him a max contract that's Tough. As for the Pelicans, their head coach Alvin Gentry made another statement about DeMarcus Cousins in free agency yesterday as he said everyone within the organization wants DeMarcus back on the team. I don't really talk about free agency, but the bottom line is obviously we like to have him back on our team. Anyone thinks you're better off not having a guy that averaged 25 points per game, 13 rebounds per game, and 5 assists per game on your team is really kind of not in tune with what it takes to win in this league. So there's just so many factors that enter into it. There's not one single person, player, or coach coach or in the basketball ops department or ownership that doesn't want him back. Well, I guess how big of a bag they're trying to throw at DeMarcus Cousins will determine how badly they really want him back. For our next story, a GoFundMe page was just created to build a LeBron James statue in Akron, Ohio. And this started to gain some traction yesterday as a man by the name of Aaron Carey said that his goal is to raise capital to place a statue of King James in his hometown of Akron, Ohio. And this guy isn't just all talk. I Either. This isn't one of those fake or joke GoFundMe pages. This is actually for real. The guy said he has already talked to Omri Armani, the architect who created the statues of 
guys like MJ, Shaq, Magic, and he all said that he has already had conversations with the Cavs owner, Dan Gilbert, about building the statue. We really want this to be in Akron. We talked to Cavaliers owner, Dan Gilbert, and he wants to put one up in Akron after LeBron retires. As far as why he wants to do it, he says it's because he wants to thank LeBron for all he's done for the city and the Cavs franchise. We want to do this for the fans. We want to be able to thank LeBron for what he has done for Akron and the Cavs. And yesterday, LeBron himself was asked about if he has saw this already and what his response to it was and this is what he had to say. First of all, thank you. It would be cool, not only for myself, but for the family and all the people that had anything to do with this journey thus far. I'm appreciative even of the thought. Now, this campaign was actually created a couple of weeks ago, but no one really found out about it until last night. And since then, it's already raised a little over $1,000 of the eventual $1 million goal. As for what the rest of the goals are, the site states this. To raise $1 million to get the statue completed in honor of LeBron James and his contributions to basketball, his hometown of Akron, his family, and his community. As part of the goal, the first 15 donors of $30,000 or more will receive a limited edition miniature replica of the statue signed by Omri. Five miniature replica statues will also be auctioned off to the highest bidder. There will only be 25 made and distributed across the world. And finally, to host an official unveiling of the LeBron James statue. Whether or not this GoFundMe page works, I'm sure LeBron James will eventually have a statue of himself put up. If a guy who was born and raised in Ohio leads the Cleveland Cavaliers to their first ever NBA champion and is in the conversation to be the greatest player of all time, I'd say that he deserves a statue. Next up in the news, we receive reports that the San Antonio Spurs are prepared to offer Kawhi Leonard a super max contract. The Spurs hope to meet with Leonard and his representatives soon in a bid to mend the fences and pave the way for Leonard to come to terms on a five-year, $219 million super max contract that he will be eligible to receive starting July 1st. If attempts to patch up the relationships fail, the Spurs will be forced to explore trading a player coach Greg Popovich once labeled the future face of the franchise. Yo, I cannot wait until July 1st to get here because that will be the day that we for sure know what the heck is going on with Kawhi Leonard because the Spurs will be able to officially offer him uh, the Supermax contract. And if it takes Kawhi Leonard more than 30 minutes to sign that contract, we will know something is up because if he has to think about signing a contract worth $219 million, then he actually might not want to be there. That's the only explanation I could possibly think of. And for our final story of the day, the Cleveland Cavaliers have just tied up the series with the Celtics at two games apiece after a 111 to 102 victory behind LeBron James having yet another 40 point game with 44 points on 17 of 28 shooting as he just tied Allen Iverson for the third most 40 point games in a single playoff run with six. Next up is MJ who had seven 40 point games in 1989 and then Jerry West who had eight back in 1965. And this wasn't the only feat that LeBron James accomplished as he also became the all time playoff field goal leader yesterday by passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And of course, LeBron James was asked about what this means to him after the game, and this is what he had to say. We're on HaydenGroveCleveland.com. Uh, tonight, last year, you passed uh, Michael Jordan as the number one playoff scorer of all time. Tonight, you passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in terms of uh, most field goals made in playoff history. What does it mean to you, if anything, to be at the top of both of those lists? Uh, I mean, I know you're probably in the moment right now, but... Um... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, now listen, anytime I'm in the same breath with the greats, um, you know, I, I know you guys hear me say it over and over, it's just humbling. And um, you know, to know where I come from, um, you guys know a little bit of the story, but you guys don't know the full story about where I come from and, and the struggle that I had. You guys know about the you know single parent struggle, and I know I heard that story, but it's a lot more to it which I'll talk about when I'm done playing ball. Um, but to know where I come from, small city, you know, 35 miles south of here, and um, to hear I'm in the same category or, you know, talked about jumping these, um, these greats um, in, in the playoffs. It's like I was a kid and I watched the playoffs so much and I was like, I would love to be a part of that, you know, that moment, that, that atmosphere, you know, and... Um, I think it's pretty cool. What got my attention there is when he talked about we don't know everything that he had to go through before he got to where he is now. We know about his struggles with the only single mother stuff and stuff like that, but we don't know the full depth of everything that he had to go through. What disappointed me though is that he says, 
we won't know about it until after he retires so he's most likely planning on releasing some type of either book or a documentary maybe even both considering it's lebron james and what's really disappointing about that is shoot we might not get to see that in our lifetime with lebron james seemingly getting better every single year who knows when he will actually retire anyways that is going to lead us to today's question of the day what team out there do you think is going to offer demarcus cousins the max contract that he wants let me know down in the comment section below but that is going to do it for today's video guys hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to smack that like button and subscribe to the channel for more daily nba news thank you once again for watching i'll see all of you right back here tomorrow but until then keep getting the buckets to my cc and i'm out of here peace